Hey guys, Afmao here and welcome to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Episode 9. I finally caught up on what episode we're on. So, last time we got this Eye of Truth or the, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, the Lens of Truth, my bad. It just looked like an eye in, in my opinion, in my opinion. That was supposed to be a pun, but it came out really bad. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue. We're in the mountains right now and for those of you Veterans of Majora's Mask, you know what story arc this is. Um, now the owl got us here, but we gotta get ourselves back using our magic! You can see that there's a little pathway here. I have a feeling I'm gonna fall down. I just, I was never good at the little ice parts. Um, even in Ocarina of Time, I was never good at the little slippy, slidey, icy parts. Whoa. Alright. Let's go this way. Boop! Oh! All right, so we should be good. We're good. Oh, oh, whoa! Oh, oh, really? Can it be? Are you able to see me? If you truly can see me, then follow behind me. Ooh. Okay, wow, yeah. Oh, we got our bunny hood. Why are we just crack a lacking behind? We don't even need to worry about anything. Oh, there we go. We got our bomb. And of course, we got this guy right here. We gotta make sure our magic doesn't wear down. So I'm gonna be, like, slicing some of these balls of snow. Snowballs! <laughs> In order to, uh, make sure we, our magic doesn't drain. So let's see. Okay, there he is. You can see the little shadow right there. We don't even need to have our... our mask up. Like, if you truly can see me, follow me. Well, you... Your omnipresence is your ghost-like shadow. It's right there. Ooh. There he goes. Let's follow him. Alright. Where is this? Oh, there he is! Alright, let's go. Oh, no! Come on, seriously! I got a ghost! Okay, good, he went down there. I'm not even gonna worry about his... I was too slow. Okay, never mind, the wolf isn't even coming yet! Alright, we're just gonna follow- we don't need to waste our magic on this, we just- Yeah, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Okay, I was a little worried there for a second. It's like, did I lose him already? But I have the mask of truth! Or the mask of truth, I'm sorry, gosh! The lens of- <sighs> Never mind. Lens of truth. I swear, my Zelda terminology has just been slack a lacking lately. And there he goes. Let's follow the ghost. Where's he going? Where's he going? And why doesn't he have any legs? He's got arms, but no legs. Ooh. Another icy part. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, okay, all right, I can do this, I got this. Oh, man, no, 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 <laughs> darn it. Come on, can I get up? Can I get up here? <sighs> no, I can't. There we go. All right, now I gotta wait for that to go here. Oh, no wonder I'm jumping off everything. I have the stupid bunny hat on. God, I hate that about the... I mean, that's, that's the good and bad thing about the bunny hood, is that you run fast, but sometimes in situations with the ice, you run way too fast, and that's never a good thing. Alright, so we can put the bunny hood on here. I don't think it affects climbing, honestly. But, uh... We can see. Alright, so... Now that we got the lens of truth, we can see that there's some... Stairs here. And if we just go up them... I hope I'm going the right way. It would suck if I'm not. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. Um, I think we go... Right? I'm just making an assumption at this point because I don't remember the pattern for going up the stairs. But it looks like we're doing good, so I'm just gonna keep on going left, right, left. Follow that kind of spooky pattern going on there. Ah, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. We made it to the top. This is a grave where Goron Hero rests. 
I came here to put up the Great Hero Memorial, but the return route has been blocked by snow and I can't get back to the Goron village. Even worse, my brother has been frozen solid from the cold. The way things are looking, I'll be frozen too. Oh, it's times like this that I wish I had taken some of the hot spring water I found when I was digging the hero's grave. But the hot spring is covered by the gravestone. I can't move a gravestone that big by myself. I guess this is what it's meant to by the Goron saying there's no use in crying over spilt rocks. <laughs> oh, Nintendo, you're so funny. Oh, crap! <laughs> That's what I get! Nintendo heard me and they were like, nope. you frozen. You're dead. You're dead to us. There we go. I got my magic potions. Um... And of course, the spooky ghost is there. I like how he's just staying outside. He's not like even going Goron logic, I swear. Let's see. Oh, whoa, whoa. Here's a spooky ghost we saw. Hmm. The soaring one said the one who could see me would be arriving soon. It seems it turned out to be true. I am Darmani the third. The blood of the blood of proud Goron heroes runs in me. This feels strange for me to say, but when I was alive, I was a renowned warrior and veteran. Yes, when I was alive. But alas, I am now dead. I was fine until I marched off to the snow head by myself, hoping that I could drive off a demon. It had been wreaking havoc on the Goron village. Then the blizzard at Snowhead blew me into a valley, and now, here I am. How infuriating! As I am, I can only watch as the Goron village slowly buried in ice. It's slowly buried in ice. I may have died, but I cannot rest. So can you use magic? The Soaring One also told me that you were able to use it. I beg you, bring me back to life with your magic. If it is beyond your power, then I beg of you to do this for me instead. Heal my sorrows. Any way that you can do it will suffice. Please heal my sorrows. And I know exactly what you need, man. You need a song. Song heals everything. Forget the song. No, 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 that's not it. Um... Don't tell me, don't tell me, I don't want to look at the screen. Don't, don't, don't even, no! There it is. Got it. Oh, this is sad. What a soothing melody. My sorrows are melting away into the song. I leave my undying feelings with you. The deeds I accomplished while living are carved on my grave. You should read it. You got the Goron mask! The sp it contains the spirit of the hero! Press C and use it. For the Goron village, I have asked your assistance. Okay, alright, so now we can turn into a giant Goron! A powerful one at that, we can't put it there because we have the money hood on. Let's do it. This is pretty cool. I mean, it's kind of disturbing up there, but you know, this is pretty cool. Now this mask, oh god, this mask is really, really cool. Um, let me see. The Goron Hero Darmani the Third rests here. In honor of the great hero, this memorial is inscribed with the knowledge of the great hero. Will you read the knowledge? Um, honestly, I personally don't need to read that, but if you're, again, playing this game for the first time, um, which I don't know, I'm sure that you guys will on the 3DS, um, 
you can read that for any further information. But this, this is, you'll see. I can't even do it properly out here. But what we need to do is we need to bring life to everything. Now, now we gotta help the Goron village using our awesome Goron powers. They're gonna think that we're one of them. <laughs> we curl into a little bow. Oh, maybe if we pull it this way. There we go. There we go. I like how there's a hot spring just conveniently here. Now what we do is we just bottle up this water. You filled your bottle with hot spring water. Use it with C before it cools. All right, let's do that. Now that we have a quicker way to get around, and I'll show you guys since you're no, you're not the great Omani, are you? Then just whose grave was I making? Did you come back to life because it was so warm beneath your grave? Oh, it's terrible. Um, okay, what we can do is heal up this guy. And you can't see because this guy's skin is in the way. <sighs> oh, what have I been doing? Oh, are you alright, brother? You were frozen, but the great Darmani saved you. The great Darmani? What's with you? Are you half asleep? Did you hear this guy? The great Darmani died a long time ago, like long ago, and is lying in his. Darmani! <laughs> I was shocked too, but somehow it seems Star Great Darmani is dead! R really? With this, a star of hope appears in the Goron village. Great Darmani, please do something about the blizzard snowing and coming in from Snowhead. I didn't get to finish reading the dialogue, but it's okay. Alright, so what we can do is we, get, we, get, we, gotta, we gotta do this. You filled your bottle with hot spring water. Use it before it cools. Alright, we can definitely do this. I hope I do this right. If not, well... Crap. <laughs> Let's just hope I do this right. Um, okay, what we're gonna do... We're gonna take this mask off. And we're gonna go... Whoosh! I hope I don't die! Oh, that sound that Link makes always just... Gives me... When he goes... <laughs> just kinda sh puts chills down my spine. All right, come on, we gotta go. That is so cool. Oh, well, crap. Where do I, where do, oh, it's this way, it's this way, isn't it? All right, so I think I know where we have to go now, if I remember properly. Let's see. No, it's not there. Uh, come on! Ah, oh, not you! There's something here that I need to do! And I just remember it by heart, but if you... <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Aw, oh, dang it! Where is it? It's just regular water now! <sighs> Alright, well, I, I gotta... Figure this out. Let's see. I'll find it. I'll find what I'm looking for. Let's see. Is it up here, actually? The fairy's gonna tell me where it is. The fairy will tell me where it is. I think that's it over there. I bet that's it over there. That's it over there, isn't it? Yeah, that's a little too big for... Yeah! I found it. That's what I'm looking for, but I have no way to cool it off. <laughs> now I gotta go back up there and do all the... Uh, I wish I had a way to do this a lot easier, but no! And you know what I could have done? Instead, of, I could have used that hot spring water on something else that was close by. That would have saved me the trip of having to go back to the grave again. Oh well, let's, let's go back to the grave. Uh, we're gonna take this off, as a matter of fact. And let's put on the bunny ears and get rid of this crappy water. There. It's gone. Alright, bunny ears go. We need to go back to the uh, grave of the, the Goron hero. And then we can come back to the old man. So let's go ahead and quickly do that. Let's come over this way. Okay, so I'm back up here, and I just cut that part out because that part's a little bit of uh, heavy work. 
if you know what I mean. So let's go ahead, let's put our bunny hood on, grab some of this nice, hot spring water, use it with C before it cools. Let's go ahead and get over there. Now, I don't know if it's quicker to use the Goron to get over there. I know that we have to use the Goron in order to, um... What are you doing? Like, no! <laughs> 10 out of 10, Link. I give that to you. 10 out of 10. So yeah, it's definitely faster just to use the bunny hood instead of having to use the Goron method because the Goron has to like kind of do like the tire skid thing. And that's kind of like bleh. So let's do what we're gonna do. So we're gonna do this. Right here. I'm gonna melt this because this is gonna come in handy. I don't know why I tried to do it the the other way and just go straight to the, the guy at first, but let's fall down this hole! And if we come here, we'll find another hot spring. Ooh, baby. This is where you take all your, uh, your waifus. Just in case you needed to know. You take all your waifus here. Let's come up. And what we want to do is we want to find that before... Oh, there it is. It's right here. So let's bring out our Goron mask and let the magic unfold. Whoa, whoops. Let the magic unfold. There he is. Huh? What was I doing? Oh, it's already this late. I must hurry. Huh? Oh, you're darn money, but you're supposed to be dead. Am I hallucinating? Maybe this is also the doing of Snowhead's magic power. I've been made a fool of, but that's impossible. I refuse to flinch. If I can see past the illusion, you'll vanish in an instant. What are you doing? And this, this is a, look at this guy. He's got like a big old Humpty Dump on his back. He's an old man, old Goron man. This is what happens when they get this old. No matter how long you follow me, it's not going to do you any good. Huh. How long you follow is not going to do you any good? Oh, okay. Well, I see how you be like that, old man. You just be like that. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Alright, so the old man is flinching. He is just on his way now to do whatever old mans do. And what we can do is, let's see, if we come over here. We come right here. Talk to this guy. Because we didn't get to go see the Goron Village in the last episode, but this episode we can actually do that since there's nothing else for us to do, at least that I know of. And again, I'm playing silly for those of you guys who haven't played because I want this to be special for you. It's supposed to be special. I'm going to close it right away, so hurry so it doesn't get cold inside. And of course he opened it. Look, there's a little path to the Goron Village. The door's already open. I'm going to close it right away, so hurry up! So we just go in here. I mean, it's just right there. You just fall off the cliff. Goron Shrine. Oh no. That doesn't sound good. Let's see what's going on here. If we... Can I speak to this guy? Those sideburns... Aren't you Darmani? You're supposed to be dead, but you're alive? What have you been doing? Thinking you were dead, the Elder went to Snowhead on his own. But for now, please go see the Elder's son. Hurry! Let's see, oh, there's a crying child here! Old Darmani, you're alive! This is wonderful, but there's no time for catching up. If something isn't done, that crying... Look at this! That... The torch outside his lid has gone out! Ugh, a kid with a terrible crying... Oh, the kid is crying. All right, so I think we're, we're let's just talk to the kid. <laughs> daddy, I'm cold, Daddy. <gasps> Under mighty ways, my Daddy. Where's Daddy? Look at him crying. He's so sad. Oh, he's just a baby. It's okay, baby. We'll get you. Oh crap. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here before the kid's crying gets annoying. Let's see what else does he have to say. Okay, he wants his he wants his daddy. Where's his daddy? Alright, so we gotta go find his daddy. Which we know where his daddy is! Whoa. Alright. Um, actually, we could do something here that would be really cool, but for now, 
Um, I want to before we come over here. Let's let's go let's go find that kid's daddy again, cause cause that kid I don't want to do anything inside of there with that kid crying. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest about that. Look at that, we can go up see pills and stuff. That's so cool. All right, let's go get that. Let's go get that kid's daddy. Just tell him, hey, dude, your kid's crying. Get out the airplane. Something like that. That's not funny, guys. All right, why doesn't my fairy talk to me as much? She's not like, hey, listen, listen to me, guys. You filled your bottle with hot spring water. Use it with C before it cools. All right, we can do that. Let's go get daddy. Let's go get the baby daddy. That guy's pretty old to be a daddy. Let's, let's be honest here. <laughs> Come on, nobody else is gonna point that out. I'll point it out. This guys, where are the girls anyway? The female ladies. Hmm? What was I doing? Oh, it's already this late. I must hurry. Yeah, we know you must hurry. No matter how long you follow me, it's not going to do you any good. What? My son is crying because he misses me? Why do you know that? My son misses me. Oh, forgive me, child. Your father has work to do. Darmani, be you ghost or a figment of my imagination, I no longer care. If you feel pity for my crying son, then please quietly sing my son to sleep with this song I am about to play on my drum. It is the very same melody that was often played for you when you were young. Oh, he just pulled Look at that, so cute! How does this song go? Hmm? Let me play it once more. I forget because I'm old. How does this song go? Um. Oh, yes. You like this. It's no good. I can remember only the beginning. I'll just teach you the beginning. <laughs> We did it! You played the lullaby intro. It's so magical, you don't remember the song, okay? <laughs> you learned the lullaby intro. The soothing melody of a thoughtful father. It's not that I forgot it, it's just so cold I can't play very well. At this rate, I'm counting on you. What else does he say? No matter how long you follow me, it's not- Yeah, okay, I got it. I'm counting on you to take care of my son. He's gonna go snowhead on his own. I'm sure he'll make it there by the time the moon crashes into the- Yeah, I have faith in him. Yeah, we're good. Alright, so let's, let's go and head over on and play the lullaby for the crying child. Um... Alright, so what we can do is we don't actually have to ask that guy. We can do this ourselves, now watch. BAM! Secret entrance opened. Let's go. Alright, so the kid's crying still. The Gorons here are like, Oops, you shut the kid up! We can't say anything because he's the leader's kid! Feel bad for them. Alright, kid, we're gonna sing you to sleep. So, sing this kid to sleep. I'm walking so slow. Well, at a slower pace, that is. Um... How did this song go? Well, oh, crap! I'm just as bad as the old guy! There we go! Got it! I'm just trying to do this by ear now. Yeah. That song! That's the song that Daddy always plays for me before I go to sleep. I'll sing the next part. Aww. All right, I got this. You play the Goron lullaby. Thank you. 
It's just like daddy's right beside me. Dead. Ha! The lullaby intro became the Goron lullaby. This lullaby blankets listeners in a calm while making eyelids grow heavy. Everyone's asleep now. Awesome! We can raid the place! Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get another mask here, ladies and gentlemen. We don't have any Deku sticks! Why? There we- Oh, there we go! Look, speak of the devil! Seriously! Take a look at that! Alright, so everyone's asleep. Look at these toys this kid's got. He's like living in Goron Heaven right now. Alright, so what we can do is we're gonna use our masks. You know, the, the one really good mask that makes us run, like, really, really fast. That's the one we're gonna be using. You're gonna see that mask being used quite a bit in this playthrough. Um, just because it's so useful. It's so freaking useful, it's not even funny. So let's, let's light up these torches. One, two, and of course let's just put one away. Oh wait, three. Let's just do them all, why not? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on, don't burn on me now. Nine, ten. Um, come on, come on. Oh, I was so scared I wasn't gonna get it in time. Woo, okay. All right, put away. All right, let's talk to this guy. Oh, the chandelier! So this is how it works. I had no idea, even though I lived here for like my entire life probably. Thank heavens! Was the elder son crying because he was hungry? There's nothing we can do. It's gotten so cold in the mountains. We just can't seem to get our hands on any of our food. At this rate, everyone will go hungry and die. But I have an emergency supply of food hidden away, so I'll be fine. What a jerk. Hitting his, hiding his food away. I think I'm gonna give the characters only... I think I'm gonna give the characters a voice whenever I feel like it because honestly, I've just been so off with the voices, it's not even funny. And the, reading the dialogue has just gotten, like, trying to be silly. Not trying to be silly, more so the fact that it's like, I forget what voice I gave the character. I think the only one that I'm starting to remember is uh, Tetzel. I think that's the only one that I'm remembering right now. But uh, what we can do is like actually know where that guy's, that terrible, terrible guys who could have probably given the kid food I know where his, uh, I know where his stash is. I'm gonna go find a secret stash. Bam! Ah, no luck there. No luck. Alright, so let's, let's head up. Alright, so let's hope we can, we can find a secret stash. Cause I know there's something in those chandeliers. I mean, they just don't break for no reason. You just gotta find it. I don't know if I can use an arrow on it, actually. That'd be really cool to just use an arrow. Alright, so come to the kid's place. Go three, two. Hopefully we can get something this time. If not, uh, oh. that is that is just so tedious. Let's see. All right, let's try it again. Let's see if we can quickly run up. And I think the Goron is just slower and by default. Night of the first day. Oh, 60 hours remain. Oh shoot! Night of the first day. I know what that means. Crap! I know what that means. We gotta. All right, we got we got to be back in Clock Town by by twelve o'clock by midnight. Uh, just so you guys know, remind me. And if I don't, if I forget, I'm sorry. But I forgot for a reason. Yeah, found your stash, you jerk. Let's see. Let's talk to this guy. Whoa, they're crying. Stop! But there's something wrong with my eyes. He's supposed to be dead. And I see Darmani standing before me. It is you. You can have the food I hid in the chandelier up there. Oh, pfft. so he does tell you. You have okay. So you have to be Darmani. You can't um. You can't be Link, or he's not gonna share a stash with you. All right, so we're just gonna take a stash. Gorons eat rocks, by the way. If you guys aren't familiar with the lore from Ocarina of Time, uh, they love to eat rocks. We can't go up that way, can we? Nope. All right, so this is this is gonna be this is gonna be quite fun. I assure you, because we gotta get this rock over to get a mask. Oh look, there's a, um, there's a cool, oh, I don't, I wonder if I can use the, uh, I wonder if I can use the, I don't know if I can get it here in time. I can give it a shot to get the, um, sorry, my, my memory's escaping me, to get the, um, hot water here in time. If I could do that, 
that would be wonderful. But this, this little piece right here, this little piece is so worth it. Just make sure nothing gets you because that would really suck to lose the fact that you got it without breaking all the chandeliers. I remember the first time that I played the game, I had to break all the chandeliers before I got this to drop. So, it's not a big deal. It's just, you know, tedious. And when you're doing a Let's Play, it's like, do I have to cut this out? All right, so let's just continue. Let's see. The Mountain Village. Yes, this is the Mountain Village I wanted to come to. Let's bring this over here. Now, remember that Goron that we saw in the last episode? The one that was, like, shaking and he's like, Oh, I'm so hungry, but I can't move! That one right there? We're gonna give this to that guy. Let's give it to him. Throw! Oh, that's it! It's so good that I can dream about it! Don, Don, Do Don goes Cavern's finest rock sirloin! This is my absolute favorite! Blessed be this meal! Or Ikadakimasu, if, you know, you like the animes! Oh, my energy has returned to me! I am coming down now! Wait one moment! Give me that hat that you got on! Yeah. Oh, I wonder who it might be! Why, if it isn't Darmani, you are alive? Yes, I see. That is the reason why you knew my favorite food. Oh, I almost forgot. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. You got the Don Giro's mask. It looks just like Don Giro, conductor of the Frog Choir. Hmm. It was crafted so well that no one would even think twice if you were to direct a frog choir. I hope that the spring will come soon so I can hear the frog's enthusiastic performance. Hope I might. It's still cold. I'm going back to Goron Village. Bye-bye! There he goes. See you later, old friend that I don't know. Bye-bye. Alrighty, guys. Well, now we have a mask. And, of course, there's another mask that we can get later on. Uh, but for now, uh, let's see. Let's take off our Goron mask. And let's put on our new mask. So that way we can see what it looks like. Here it is. Uh, wow, we already... How many masks do we have? One, two, three, four, five... Five excluding the special ones so those alrighty so take a take a look at this mask that mask is pretty well it's pretty cool so next time we see a frog in a dungeon we won't think twice to use this mask so we'll definitely be using this alrighty guys well thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Majora's Mask be sure to tune in next time as we'll be trying to head to the temple and doing some other stuff like getting more masks and all that kind of stuff trying to get a hundred percent of the masks until next time guys See you later. Take care. Stay warm. Bye-bye.